Welcome to Cisco Pack Tracer tutorial number six. Today we'll be examining NAT on a multifunction device. We'll examine the Linksys GUI for NAT configuration, then I'll set up four PCs to connect to the Linksys device with DHCP enabled, and last we'll examine the traffic that crosses the network using NAT. So first we're going to examine the Linksys external configuration. So what I'll do is click on the Linksys router, and on the top right you'll see a status, so click on that. What we're checking for here is to make sure that the IP address was assigned to the Linksys device by the ISP, which it has been. So now we'll click on Local Network and examine the Linksys internal configuration. So we'll click right there and make sure that we'll check the IP address and the end IP address. X out of that. Now we'll, conf we'll add on four PCs to the network. So on the bottom left, I'll drag up four PCs to the work area. And now that we have that, we need to connect them to the Linksys router. So I'll go to Connections, click on Copper Straight Through, and plug these in to the Linksys router. So PC1 will go into Ethernet 2, PC2 to Ethernet 3, and PC3 to Ethernet 4. So now that we have them connected to the Linksys router, we need to configure the IP address. So we'll click on each PC. I'll click on the first one, go to Config, go to Fast Ethernet, and for IP configuration, I'm going to choose DHCP so that it automatically assigns the IP address. And it should pop up here in a minute so you can see what the IP address will be. If it doesn't, you can just click, click on settings, and there we go. So now I'll go to PC1, do the same thing, go to Config tab, Fast Ethernet, DHCP, the IP address should pop up, there we go. Do the same thing for PC2, Fast Ethernet, DHCP, and do it for this one, go to Config, Fast Ethernet, change the IP configuration, DHCP, and there we go. So I'll X out of that, and now we'll view the NAT translation across Linksys. So I'll go to the Simulation tab, and first I'm going to edit filters. So I'll click on Edit Filters. I'm going to check all of them except for HTTP and TCP. Now I'm going to choose a complex PDU. So I'll click on this open envelope, put it on PC0, and under PDU settings I'm going to select the application to HTTP. For the IP destination IP address, I'm just going to click on the server PD here. You can see the env icon showing the destination. So you click on that and it will automatically populate the IP address to the destination. For the source port, I'm going to put in 1000. And for the simulation settings, I'll click on periodic, put in an interval of 120 seconds, and then I'll click PDU. So now that we have that, I'm going to click on auto capture. And then from here, you can see how the packet travels from the PC through the Linksys route across the net to the server. And there you have it. 